The works of Marta Bazak are presented at the Vernissage. The subjective world of her paintings is an allegory of loneliness, while tapestries and textile compositions are the embodiment of warmth and peace. In this program, we will tell why angels are the favorite characters, how painting puts people into a good mood and even is a cure for the master. She takes an absolutely modern approach to her work, so it makes you think what is interesting for her in this field. Well, the fact is that I have admired her work for several decades. This is all that I do what I love to do, and I know how to do it to perfection. The museum project Family Values, Family Ties presented to the public the work of multifaceted and original artists, the spouses of Mikola Yakovina and Marta Bazak. Depth, contrast and mystery were in the name of their joint vernissage in Contre Jour. When they were looking for a title for their exhibition, they just thought, here in this Contre Jour, each one was highlighted by some interesting, distinctive aspect, and that was very intriguing and interesting. In the works, each of the authors demonstrated their own artistic handwriting, themes and styles. Meanwhile, they were united by sincerity in creativity and their tireless search for new forms and fresh colors. We're different with Marta, in my opinion. Marta, in general, is a wonderful woman and stands on a high podium. She's so hardworking and very talented. Indeed, she took part in 150 exhibitions, and more than 25 of them were private. And I must say that it is very pleasant that they seem to express themselves in some way so vividly. This is why I consider them unique, and it is precisely this individuality that makes our project Family Values, Family Ties very interesting for the general public viewing audience. Marta Bazak, master of tapestry, graphic artist and painter. She studied in Lviv at the Ivan Trush College and at the Institute of Decorative and Applied Arts in the Faculty of Art Weaving. She also participated in the most prestigious international Biennale and in numerous art exhibitions. Her works are preserved and displayed in museums of Ukraine, Russia and in private collections in Canada, Germany, Poland, the US and France. We already had ideas to show our works together, and this time we organized such a joint exhibition, and I'm very pleased that it was a very successful project. The exposition includes not all works of Mikola Yakovina and Marta Bazak, but experienced museum workers found the right method for composing these works of art and managed to create and present to viewers an integral image of these creative works. In our Museum of Modern Art, there is an ingenious exponent, Irina, who had her own view concerning an exhibition. I am happy because I saw my work from a completely different perspective. She managed to put everything so professionally that here they fell into place. I am acquainted with her because we both graduated from the Lviv Institute of Applied and Decorative Arts. She already demonstrated herself in an interesting way. As a student, she has already started exhibiting and then, when you remember people from youth, you somehow track their life. You watch how they work. There are new works here, which I have not seen at all. When they became a set and were hung in a certain order, in a certain combination, it gives a new way of thinking and new impressions. The themes in Martha Bazak's work are very different, like her life, and in style there are works that are lyrical and even romantic, and there is also irony with the delicate and kind humor. The exhibition turned out to be retrospective, because they are early works and very fresh ones. This is what I have achieved, what I love doing and what I live for. Therefore, all the time you hear the name and know about the latest news. Oh, she has interest in screens. The screens are torn and this has never been done or seen. What is rather interesting and even intriguing is how she treats painting on fabric. In addition to the works presented at the exhibition, there are several other spheres in which the artist creates – typography, drawing on paper and even on glass. But even those works that visitors saw were surprising in terms of the variety. 
They are completely different, and even in some cases the theme does not always intersect. The nature of the lines, the character of the color, it's different. And it seems to me it's the other way around. It's more interesting when you walk, look, and you feel. Here are the irony, here are the lyrics, here are the philosophy, and here, on the contrary, something sublime and angelic. In my opinion, it's great. Very beautiful, bright impressions, restrained and tender. This is something incredible. In the first hall, I was amazed. It seems to me that these are unique works, and I am seeing this for the first time. We saw a lot of material that we really liked. Most of all, I like the originality and restraint. You know, she really believes in angels. I am a teacher of art culture of Ukraine. These masterpieces, these pictures amaze one with their emotions and feelings, which the author expresses. This is quite visible in these works with such an interesting style, perhaps even a modernist style. Marta Bazak shares experience and skills of her original works with neophyte artists of the Mihailo Boychuk Kyiv Institute of Decorative and Applied Art and Design. If there are students, interesting people who themselves work creatively and you work with them together, then this is the exchange of information, work and topics. I have students who work in the same manner. They are already even famous artists and a whole galaxy of young textile artists who continue to work in this style. On her canvases, the similarity of the plot lines, which are realized in different genres, is quite evident. There is one and the same motive, though embodied by expressive means of painting, batik or tapestry. It creates new associative series and an unusual philosophical perspective of the perception of the work. In general, I am an artist of applied decorative art, and I am engaged in textiles. In the process of creating a tapestry, it should be invented first, then painted, and then executed on the material. Marta's textile compositions and tapestries require original techniques of performing, application of complex techniques and variations with woven and not woven surfaces. Such work as a tapestry should be done during a long period of time. It is necessary to weave a thread to the thread, and this is a very long process. It is very hard physical work. Therefore, when you weave a tapestry, you want to make it as quickly as possible. Usually there is a traditional batik, but she takes some kind of individual approach. It is so amazing. She weaves smoothly, weaving in tapestries, and we again see that some new topics have appeared. This is a screen which I call the seasons or the life of leaves. In spring they appear. In fall they fall down, and in winter they freeze. And in summer they are green and lush. What task did I set? I wanted to make such a transparent material in the frame, which is a sort of separate object. And the color base is stretched especially for any tapestry. But this foundation plays a role, like a picturesque spot. Carpets and tapestries are applied things that can perfectly decorate people's houses, but at the same time they are, first and foremost, a work of art, the master assures. I did a lot of work for order. I think that they still decorate private hotels, for example, or expensive homes or estates. Therefore, this method can be inscribed in any interior. If there is a green wall, it will be against a green background. And look what dancing shadows are there. It's also very exciting for me. I made a couple of such screens and I'm interested in how they're after being created. Marta Bazak has a special feature. She easily parts with her works. After all, they must give joy to everyone. Now, if a person liked me and my work, I gave many of my works to the friends in my life. When the work is finished, I want to do something else. It seems to me that if they are popular among people, then someone obviously likes them and someone needs them. They are famous not only in Ukraine, but outside the country as well. Her original works that spread warmth and love eventually find their admirers all over the world. These are people with whom I worked in Canada. 
Canada and the US. People bought my works to give someone as presents. Also, my works can be found in Poland, France and Russia. The artist is inspired by everything beautiful in the world, from wildlife, from the singing of birds and to the smiles of people. Marta draws the energy of creation from positive emotions, but her favorite characters are the angels. I'm sentimental when it comes to angels. I have painted angels all my life in different manifestations and on different materials. An angel for me is hope. All the time you hope that everything will be fine everywhere. Angels are sad, funny and comical. I always work with them. They carry their wings like a burden, because life is that way. Therefore, angels are like people. Angels symbolize some worries, experience, joy and happiness, everything. It is based on the old icon, an angel with a black and white wing. There is also an interesting technique for me in which fragments are made with different textures. And this triptych is about wine and fat. This is a work performed to present a book about wine, grapes, red wine and a young wine from three variants of such glasses with wine. As a typical Ukrainian, Marta Bazak loves flowers, and on her canvases the green world takes an honorable place. A whole series of works depict plants, flowers and still live paintings. This can be divided into separate topics – flowers, snails and still life. This is my sympathy. I invent them, I paint them from life, then I make a mixture, I add something to them. Still life is my favorite subject. I have done a lot of works in this style and continue to do so. This is a snail painted and on the fabric using the batik technique. I cut them into such small pieces and weave them on a loom. I made a fabric from a batik's composition, which I designed as a decorative panel. It seemed to be a very simple technique, but at the same time such an interesting version of the fabric is once again woven on the machine. The constant experiment with new materials has opened new possibilities of the image for the artist. For example, coated paper is served as an impetus for writing a number of works in the technique of alla prima. The picture was created by rapid large strokes, but such a faster way of drawing, when it is easy to spoil and almost impossible to correct, is only possible for such confident masters as Marta Bazak. The main thing is to think up something, and you can do it in a day or two. Therefore, everything depends on how much you want to realize your topic. Marta presents a series of exquisite still life as an allegory of serenity and quietness in a silent, objective world. Painting is not only her favorite work, it's like her oxygen, she needs to breathe it. I live in it, and I never shared it. I have a shop in my house, there is a workshop in my mother's room, and I have a private workshop. I work everywhere as an artist. It is constant, round-the-clock work in the afternoon, in the evening and throughout the night. When I don't go to the workshop for several days, I become sick. Marta Bazak is an artist of constant search. Each of her exhibitions represents a new facet of her talent, new artistic revelations and plastic experiments. It seems to me that this is very interesting because it gives a very different perception. Postmodernism is the irony over something traditional, but this irony in some ways is kind. It is about what we never thought about before. According to art critics, the exhibition in Corte Jour opened another space for understanding and admiring the works of original Ukrainian artists such as Mykola Yakovina and Marta Bazak. <laughs>